More now on the sad news of this morning that New York Yankees owner George Steinbrenner has died after a heart attack at age 80. His family says, quote, he was a visionary and a giant in the world of sports. He took a great but struggling franchise and turned it into a champion again. Well, he leaves behind a lasting legacy and here to talk about that legacy is Bloomberg sports columnist Scott Soshnick. Now, Scott, Steinbrenner was known for many things, for being a mercurial personality, certainly. He was known for spending big, but the bottom line is he built the most valuable sports franchise out there. Yeah, you know, oftentimes when things like this happen, the superlatives far exceed the reality of the man. That's not the case with George Steinbrenner. He bought the Yankees. They were not considered a winning team, a dominant brand, and built them into a 27-time World Series winner, obviously somewhere before him. But they're known as the iconic Yankees. Those pinstripes are known throughout the world. The number one brand, the most valuable franchise, worth $1.6 billion. Other franchises emulating what he did, creating his own regional sports network, really driving the revenue production and ancillary revenue from things away from baseball, away from the field. That's his legacy. The term brand keeps coming up, and that was a big move, right, to, to move into the television network business on yeah, top of just the sports business. Well, he leveraged the team brand. He knew that in this market with that team, and the only way it would work if there was the demand out there for more eyeballs, and people would not have tolerated not being able to see the Yankees. He had his battles with the cable operators, as we know, and he came out on top because the people of New York just had to see their Yankees. He had all the leverage because that team had been built into a winner. And with that kind of fan base, that kind of fervent fan base, they demand their Yankees on TV, he can pursue the things he wanted to do. What happens now? I mean, his family members have been very much involved in uh, running the business, right? He stepped away yeah, because he's, he's been, been a, ill for a while. He's been a titular leader for some time now, a leader in name only. Baseball a couple of years ago approved Hal Steinbrenner as the managing general partner. So business as usual for the Yankees. However, that figurehead, if they ever did go and, hey, Dad, this is a problem we have. How would you handle it? If that mm -hmm. even happened anymore, that sort of safety net is gone. Now it really is somebody else's franchise, and they're responsibility to live up to what George Steinbrenner created. All right, Scott, thanks so much uh, Thank for you. joining us. We'll look for your piece. It's published a little bit later. You say it's being coming edited soon, coming now. Coming soon. All right, we stand by for that, Scott.